What's going on guys? It's Simon from SG and today we're going to be learning how to set up a Sandbox account with your authorized.net account. So um, Sandbox account with your authorized.net account is a little bit different because you have to go and create a separate um, Sandbox account and it's kind of confusing because you, you have a test mode and a live mode on your authorized.net um, dashboard but in reality you still need to create a Sandbox account. So if we're going to go create a sandbox account for authorize.net, um, I'm going to go to my WordPress slash WooCommerce dashboard and I'm going to go to my settings and when I click payments, I see authorize.net, it's set up and I'm going to scroll down, pay, or the, the gateway is enabled and I'm going to switch the environment to test environment and now I need to go grab the test API login ID, the test API transaction key, the test API signature key, right? So I'm going to go to um, developer.authorize.net. Um, cool. I'm going to get to the home page of their you know, development docs. I'm going to click create a sandbox account. And you can do this probably in like 30 seconds to one minute. You're just going to be getting your API credentials. So um, I, I think it is helpful. So I'm just going to buzz through this real quick. Cool sandbox currency. Um, sweet. So filled that out. Agree to the terms. I come over here and I'm going dual screen for a little bit and then here we go so I get my API credentials and I'm literally just copying pasting here copying pasting typing in my name or whatever your key is I'm gonna save it save these changes okay and now I'll be able to use test mode on my checkout. So uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to go to one of these uh, sample products that I created before this. Okay. And I'm going to proceed to checkout. And I have test mode enabled. Now you might say, well, what, what can you use for your test credit card numbers? Do they give you some that you can use? Um, if you go back to the authorized.net um, header, and you go to testing guide. At this link, you can you have uh, samples of like, you know, what kind of um, test transaction numbers you can use. So, um, you know, if you use American Express, you can you ha you have to use a four-digit CVC. Um, but you know, the other ones like Discover, JCB, Diners Club, Visa, you can use these random numbers that they give you. And you always can use it any date in the future and um, any three-digit combination except um, if American Express and use a four-digit combination. So let's, let's give uh, our friends at American Express a try. I like typing in four digits more than three. So I'm just gonna type in, you know, copy paste their um, number, the test card number. I'm gonna do any day in the future. Um, I'm more of a 2025 guy. And then um, a four-digit number, I'm just gonna do 111. So boom, let's see if this order is placed or if we get an error from authorized.net. Awesome. The order has been received. Um, just a test, test card. So 